How you doing, Mohammed? Good to see you, man. In town of assholes, you are worse. Another free ride for the ugliest bastard in Liberty City. Perfect. Let's see you too, buddy. How you keeping? Uh, we'll go for the one in the exchange. So can you take me to Amethyst Street? We better get this over with. You better be enjoying yourself back there, because I'm hating every second I have to drive you around for free. Yeah? Well, maybe you should chill out. You're going to have a heart attack getting so angry the whole time. You know how much a driver can get paid in this city? Shit. <laughs> a yellow <laughs> cab is just a license to steal, man. This don't pay too bad. When I'm driving real fares, that is. Not just Rome and stupid cousin. You don't like driving me, talk to Rome. He can send one of his other drivers. You'd love that, wouldn't you? Get a hard-working father of six fired because he didn't treat you like God's <laughs> gift to the earth. You're cold, man. Ice cold. You really want me to get fired? No, of course I don't want you to get fired. You got a job to do. Shit, I didn't realize you had six kids. Well, I probably got about six kids. My wife hasn't had any yet, but the amount of pussy I get, man, there has <laughs> oh to be some out there. Doesn't there? You know? Sure, whatever you say, lover man. Mom is the best, everyone. He's causing chaos in the streets. <laughs> And everyone, hello, welcome back to more of Let's Play Grand Photo 4. I am the Black Shadow. We are up here in uh, Northern Algonquin, uh, just outside Playboy uh, X's house. About to go and pay him a visit after conducting all sorts of business with Brucey. Uh, raising plenty of money, uh, which has all more or less since gone. Um, I went to Perseus and figured I'd give um, Nico some, uh, some more smarter friends. I think the guy deserved it. He's put in a lot of work so far. Uh, it has cost me a lot of money to do so, um, but it'll be fine, folks. It'll be fine. So here we are. I say here's uh, Playboys. Let's go pay a visit. Hopefully we might be able to uh, style and profile a bit. Look at that. I think not too bad. There's some half-decent stuff for Nico to wear. Um, there's some that's not very good. It uh, varies, but um, I think he deserves um, some a bit of bit of smart stuff. I'm gonna have to speak. Jeez. What's up, money? Howdy. Not much. How are you? Chilling. It's all good. Well, mostly good. Mostly? Yeah. Dwayne's been getting on my nerves. Pushing me, man. But whatever. We spoke about that shit already. Uh, give him time. He's just out of prison. <laughs> For real. Listen, G. Dwayne ain't the only thing I got on my mind. No? No. It's not like you're gonna Some miss. Some been calling me a phony, calling me a snitch, calling me all kinds of bullshit. Big deal. Yeah, big deal. Damn right. Until I discover that same motherfucker. Well, you got some real loose lips. Mm. Not bad. <laughs> so, you need this guy silenced? Yeah, he hangs out with his team near the courts on Exeter between X and W. Okay. What does he look like? Well, son ain't too diesel or nothing. And he a regular looking dude, know what I mean? Now, he don't flash his guap too much, but you can see it in his eyes. And he a hustler. Eh? <laughs> Homie ain't too brolic, but he ain't scrawny neither. And he be styling on him a little, you dig? I mean, he ain't too bummy, but he grindy too. So, he's the average one? Look, he's brown skin B. <laughs> Motherfucker be rocking baggy clothes, all that. Jewels and he stay fresh with the clean sneakers. Know what I mean? And sometimes the bandana. Look, I need more than that to go on. Jesus. <laughs> Here, take this. Head down there. Take a photo. Send it to me. I'll point out which one of them motherfuckers it is. Fine. And that's a little gift for you. Ah, thank you. Appreciate it, Playboy. So it will give us a, uh, a phone here for us to look, start taking cam um, pictures and stuff. Because the phone that um, Roman gives us is uh, not capable of doing so. Look at that. Whiz. Very nice. This actually has a, a camera, which we can use to capture stuff. Send it to uh, Playboy, which makes sense. And then he'll tell us which one of the dudes uh, we need to uh, whack. All right. Let's make our way over then. Luckily, it's not too far. It's just around the corner. Here. Here we go. Ah, I see. That makes sense. Those guys. 
Yeah, I mean... situation my body is forced to rob and deal in order to sustain my own well-being and that of my immediate family <sighs> all right so go ahead and take a picture of the game over don't want to get too close all right so hopefully they won't find any conspiracies of a man in a suit going along and taking some pictures now i have a feeling i know which one it is i think it might be the dude in blue but i don't know so get the camera out we can use this to zoom in and out as well here. Oh my god. Look at the quality of that image. Jesus Christ. I don't know how close I can realistically get though without like attracting aggro. Ah, uh, it's alright. I'm not a mustard fan, buddy. Let's try and get over here. Let's try it this way. It's one of those ones that I don't know how close is too close. Anyways, we'll try and take a picture of this dude and s this looks this look at the quality. It's god horrendous. Present the Playboy. Wait for a callback. See if that's the man. I think it's the one in blue. Um. What does that mean? Oh, there we go. Nope, that ain't Marlon. It is not indeed. I reckon it's the guy in blue. If I had to call it a hunch. Right. Oh shit! Whoops. No, I need to press that and then send. My bad. There we go. <laughs> nice and quiet and inconspicuous. I don't particularly. Ah, hello. Yeah. There's the man. Um. They're all suddenly staring at me. It's kind of suspicious. Like they know what's going on. Let's get out of here. Our business is done. We only need to get in a fight with his buds. Marlin is dead. You the man, son. You money. You my ice cold solid killer. See you soon. No worries, man. Thank you very much. And as that paycheck keeps coming, I don't take it off. Yeah, six and a half grand for that fuck. That's a uh, that's a fair chunk of change. Very very nice. Right then. Okay. So with that done. Uh, let's go pay a uh, visit to Dwayne next, I reckon. Who, as far as we know and can tell, has l literally been having Playboy paying people to go see him rather than see himself. That's his thanks for his uh, former mentor, eh? Pretty, pretty bad times. Oh, oh god. Yeah? Who are you? Can you remind me? That doesn't matter. You need to meet me outside the United Liberty Paper Building in Algonquin. It is very important that you be there. Goodbye. Got it, folks. I'm getting sick of this unknown contact stuff. Oh yeah, oh that reminds me actually something I completely forgot to make a mention of and uh, while I was off screen doing some bits and pieces. Uh I, I unfortunately wasn't recording, um, but I did get a call from Brucey. We can now call Brucey in order to um do stuff like races and stuff. Um which is nice, I guess. I'll probably do one or two of those um for the series. It's nothing really ever particularly very much of though on my own time, but uh, we'll probably delve into that. Institutionalized. Fuck it, man. Fuck it all. I mean, I used to have everything. 
I used to run uptown, Bohan, all that shit. Mm. Now I ain't shit. Hey, let's get it back. No, I can't, man. I ain't got the energy no more. I've been stabbed in the back too many fucking times. I mean, there's bitches everywhere. Well, I'll do it. For you, I mean. Nah, fuck that. Come on, man, stop being so miserable. What did you lose? Shit, man. At this club. I'm talking a real gentleman's place. Oh. Called the Triangle Club on Drill Street in Bowhead. I'm talking real class. You know what I'm saying? I'm familiar with it. Down, some fucking gangsters came and took it. Well, uh. I'll clean out the squappers for you. No problem. But we'll talk about that later. <laughs> so he actually used to run the Triangle Club. And amongst those uh, other bits and pieces that he's been known to be doing. Interesting. <laughs> well, we are obviously formally acquainted with the club. Now, whether that means we'll be able to just kind of walk in and say to uh, the current owners... Uh, excuse me, sirs, but I think that um, the former um, business owner would like his place back. I don't know if they're just going to keel over and say yes. I mean, we could try. We'll see. Brucey. Naked women, but this time it's business, not pleasure. We have to hang out another time. See you. <laughs> I mean, like, I guess I wouldn't say he's not welcome to come along, but he may not like what he sees when he gets here. Might be a bit too much red tape for his liking, I have a funny feeling. Right. So here's the place. Place is uh, surprisingly um, got quite a few cars here for nine o'clock in the morning. This is just a business call, you know. Let's have a chat then. How are you doing, sir? Do you mind if I enter? This way. Oh, tar. Thank you. Thank you. So we need to find the free club managers and take them out, eh? Question. Who the hell are they? Hmm, we may have to work that out. Meet up, try the count back here. There ain't no refunds or lap dances. I got a piece back here. It ain't worth it. Let's go get his friends. Guys, you don't want none of this. Oh my god, this is open into- There's a war in here! Jesus! I'm trying to escape out the back! God almighty, it's ended in a civil war! Oh, twat, I'm reloading! No, you fuckers! Oh, I got the driver! Oh, what a shot! Got him. I really thought I wasn't going to get him as well. I thought I was going to have a real problem there. Good job, Shadow. Well played. Nobody's going to be partying up in your club anymore. Playboy ain't going to be happy. What do you mean? He's still did business with the gangsters that took over. Oh, really? Yeah, they fucked me. They fucked. Right? Playboy's going to feel that shit. Sure thing, man. Oh, he didn't tell me that. 
No, I imagine Playboy's not going to be happy at all. I mean, I definitely wouldn't be. I'd be very upset by that. Hmm, interesting. Well, the important thing is that uh, the gangsters are down. Business may be shut here for a little while, but I'm sure in the long run, it'll be fine. See, look, they see the security guard is like... <laughs> well, cheers. See, he was clearly a secret Dwayne supporter. Good on him. Good on him. Right, so while that whole Playboy Dwayne situation plays out. Nico, I'm getting worried. Roman didn't get back at all last night. He likes to party. He stays out late the whole time. You know what he's like. Not on my watch, he don't. Something ain't right. Hmm. Roman? Ladies, this is Roman Bellic, but I guess you are ready. Hmm. Ladies, this is Roman Bellic, but Hmm. Strange. Worrying. Hey, boy. Nico, tell me you want you to shut up the strip club in Bohan. You asked me to help out Dwayne. That's what I was doing. Don't help him out when it fucks up my business. Damn, son. That ain't cool. Playboy, understandably, not too happy about uh, my decision to uh, screw with that, but yeah. I mean, Dwayne knew, and he didn't care. This is only ending one way, folks, and it's going to be unfortunate. Also, yeah, very concerned and worried in regards to um, Roman there. I mean, the last time he kind of went sort of missing, it was Russian gangsters, and we're hardly clear of all that heat. Very concerning. Anyways, in the meantime, we're going to make our way down towards um, uh, United Liberty Paper and see what the hell it is that Michelle was um, busy talking about. Do we have to meet her there? I mean, like, I'd rather not, but... Maybe we have no choice here. Well, here's the place. Apparently. Oh, game. Thank you. United Liberty Paper. I know what you must be thinking, but don't bother. I'm sorry, but I don't see how you know what I must be thinking. You've killed people. <sighs> you should be dead yourself. Or inside. You're just lucky it was me and not someone else who got their hooks into you. I'm sorry that I lied to you. <sighs> and, and weirdly, in some ways, you're a nice guy. Better than the creeps I normally date. <laughs> but you're damaged goods. No doubt. Let's go. In here. Salute? Eat my ass, buddy. I'm up for the promotion. You're not. Who are we meeting? What the hell are we doing here? We're going to meet someone. Sounds fun. You know, you and your cousin, you should get out. What you're looking for, you won't find. Feds are all over it. Crime is done. You've watched too many movies. Whatever you say, Michelle. Or whatever your name is. It's Karen. <laughs> My name is Karen. Interesting. And you work with the government. I kind of like the honesty in that. I have a clear conscience. How very lucky for you. <sighs> in here, Office 396. Hi there. Here he is. I can see that. Thanks, Karen. Hey, cheer up. You did good. You'll get a Sammy if you care about that sort of thing. Thank you. 
So, Mr. Bellic, quite a file, quite a story. Who are you? If I be? If I be? Do I look homosexual? Do you think I care about the size of your Johnson? Now, you can't always tell who the good guys are. I'm not a good guy, but I'm fighting with them. And guess what? So are you. Hooray. <laughs> That's the spirit. Nothing like a bit of sarcasm when someone's got you by the balls. Now, I need you to find something out for me. Find out everything you can about a man called Oleg Minkoff. He lives on Iroquois, back in Hove Beach. And if I say no? I hand your file over to those cretins in the FIB, and organized crime has dealt another serious blow. Go to his house. Any problems, call this number. What's your name? Not relevant. Call me. Very soon. Oh. Calling that certificate of yeah. excellence. Welcome to America. Pascal Astala Dejava. Huh. Bushka. Interesting. Well, according to, um... Right. According to that stick of excellence, it said, what was it, Edward Fortune, I think it was? Ed Fontaine? Not entirely sure. But, uh, well, it seems to be where we're at here, folks. We're uh, doing um, some dirty work for the government to keep ourselves out of the nick. Regretful, to put it mildly. So, uh, we're going to go and do some work and um, finding out, what was his name? Oleg. I'm um, going to Palm Nove Beach and um, do some surveillance work, I guess. I'm curious. Hello, you have reached United Liberty Paper Merchants. None of our operatives can come to the phone. Please leave a message. Well, always feels a little bit awkward in a way coming on back to Hove Beach. Always worried I'm going to get some um, noticed and just I'm get shot at. It's going to be bad. You know, just kind of feel a bit uh, persona non grata around here. Anyway, Toleg's apartment, um, <laughs> not too far from our old place. Here's the one, apparently. Hello? Pizza delivery? Hmm. Mr. Minkov? Anybody here? Seems pretty empty. What have you got for me? Not much. He keeps a clean house, he's got a computer. Check his email. Call back with any information that would indicate his current whereabouts. Hmm. So I just have to quickly pause the video there. Alright, so what the hell did it say we need to do here? Oh, check the computer. Okay. Let's have a little look see in I don't think the computer is meant to render like that, but whatever. What is this? Hmm. Okay. So we're going to find out Oleg. Yep, yeah, definitely the guy. Check his mail. Mr. Minkov, it's come on attention that you're attempting to publish a manuscript rife of inaccuracies and salacious allegations. I wish to remain nameless but pursue a case of defamation of character should this manuscript ever be published since this is your endeavour. Dear Oleg, 
Can't give you any more of the information you want. I'm emailing my contacts in the Caspian and Keaton reports that the addresses no longer exist. Copies you want info on seem to be owned by Umbrella Corporations, which are owned by even more Umbrella Corporations, uh, which are then either Caymans or Switzerland. What's this guy been digging into? You aren't being watched by government spies. Your phone isn't tapped. You don't need to drink that bottle of water or eat from those tins because no one wants to poison you. Hmm. Of course, I'll meet you. I'll be outside the jewelry shop off Tulsa Street later on. Hmm. I reckon that might be the next place for us to look to head to then, by the looks of it. Right, let's go investigating. There's an email that says he's meeting someone at Tulsa Street in Hove Beach. Perfect. I'll send someone to pick up the hard drive. You go to Tulsa Street. Eliminate Minkoff. Whoa, killing is very different from gathering information. You are acting in the interest of your new countrymen and keeping yourself out of prison. For once, this is a murder you don't have to feel confused about. Just phone the big call, then call me. <laughs> uh, I kind of like this guy. I'd totally forgotten about this man. Like, I'd forgotten everything about the whole United Liberty stuff. I, I totally remembered, of course, about the whole, um, like, Michelle betrayal thing. Of course I remember that, but I didn't remember anything at all about United Liberty or this dude. All very, very cool stuff. Well, here's the Jewelry Street shop, apparently. Uh oh. It's on. Get back here, Rolex. Ah. Right now, unfortunately, taking out um, tires. Not so effective against the AI. Gotta get him. Man, this is what a freaking tough car. Not giving up at all. Jeez. Damn, my leg. What is this car? Bulletproof? Jeez. Right, we have to try something different here. I tell you what, I'm gonna try and get on the corner, tail him. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Shit. It's a good idea. Try and tail spin him, perhaps, and then take him out. I think it's going to be a better idea. Apparently, this car is made of, like, titanium. Impervious to bullets. Get back here. Ah, not easy to get him, though, when he's going on these corners. Oh, sneaky. Go around. There he is. Oh, damn. You know, like, man, this guy's some driver. I'm having to work for this. Get back here. Oh, really? Oh, the car's jammed. God damn it. Right, round we go. There he is. Sorry, Oleg. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Minkoff is dead. The country is safe. Not by a long shot, smartass. Nothing is safe. No one is safe. Maybe something has been averted. Maybe delayed. I'll be in touch. Goodbye. <laughs> Cheers. It's 
get out of here. So, do I like being like a freaking pawn of the government? No. Do I... Hold... Wait, what? Hold on. estate deal go. That cat ain't got no vision. Wants to shut down the site and shit. Make it a memorial to union workers who died in accidents. And fuck you, Step on me. I got bigger problems. Come see me now. That's right for you. Fair enough then. That's what we're doing next time then, folks. We're gonna go and pay a visit the Playboy X. And uh yeah. The man has some serious issues. This is the truth. May have been partially responsible for some of them. This is also probably the truth as well. But uh, we'll go and see uh, what he needs and see if we can't be of some help to him. We'll worry about that next time, though, folks. So thank you very much for watching, as always. I'll see you then.